Welcome back to Move with Nicole. Today's class is an express Pilates workout. You won't need any equipment, just yourself and a mat. So when you're ready to get started, let's begin. Let's start our class today on our hands and knees for some cat-cow stretches. So on your inhale, arch your spine, roll your shoulders back. Then exhale, round your spine and gaze towards your navel. And again, inhale, roll your shoulders back, open through your heart. Exhale, round your spine. Then tuck your toes under and this time inhale, arch your spine, look up. Then as you exhale, hover your knees off the floor and really draw up through your navel. Then set your knees down, inhale, arch your spine, open through your heart. Exhale round and hover your knees. Just two more. When you lift your knees off the floor, really think of lifting up through your belly button, pressing the floor away. Last one. Now hold with your knees lifted and just breathe for five, four, you can do it, three, two, and one. Well done, press back into a downward facing dog and then walk your hands back towards your feet. Keep a soft bend through your knees and hold on to opposite elbows, just taking a moment to release any tension through your lower back and through the back of your legs. Then release your hands and very carefully roll yourself up to standing. On your inhale, reach your arms up to the sky, lengthen through the sides of your waist. Then exhale, release your arms down, tuck your chin in and roll yourself down. Walk your hands out, coming into your plank position. Really tuck your hips under, draw your navel in. Exhale, lift your left leg, inhale lower, Exhale, lift your right leg. Inhale, lower. Just six more. Really pointing through those toes, lengthening through your spine. Two more. And last one. Good job. Walk your hands back towards your feet. Keeping a soft bend through your knees, roll your spine up to standing. Inhale, reach your arms up to the sky, really lengthening through the side of your waist. Exhale, release your arms down, tuck your chin in and roll yourself back down. Walk your hands out into your plank, finding that strong position. This time, inhale, lift your left leg. Exhale, pull your knee into your chest. Inhale, extend it back and exhale, lower. Other side, inhale, extend, exhale, pull. Inhale, extend, exhale, lower. Six more. Really press through your shoulders here. Draw your navel in, keeping your core engaged. Nothing else is moving, just the legs. Just two more, you can do it. And last one, inhale, lift. Exhale, pull, inhale, extend, exhale, lower. Well done. Set your knees down, untuck your toes and press back into a child's pose. Let's flip our palms up to the sky to give our wrists a little break and just take a nice deep breath. Then vertebra by vertebra, roll yourself up and shift your weight onto your glutes. Sitting up nice and tall with your knees bent in front of you and your feet hip distance apart, reach your arms in line with your shoulders. Take a nice inhale to prepare, then exhale around back and drop your ribs down to your hips. Inhale, lengthen your spine, growing up nice and tall, then exhale round. Just two more like this. And on this next one, let's hold in our C curve. Really drop your ribs down to your hips. Inhale, lift your arms. 
exhale lower and pull your left knee into your chest inhale lift your arms exhale pull your right knee in inhale lift exhale pull keep going just four more keeping that nice C curve and your abs engaged two more and on this last one, hold your right knee into your chest and take little pulses for eight and seven, six, five, four, really warming up those abs, three, two, and one, switch legs, pull your left knee in, eight pulses, eight, seven, six, nice exhale and exhale, three more two and one set your left foot down and roll yourself all the way down to your back shuffle your heels in towards your glutes make sure your feet are hip distance apart and your arms are down by your side on your exhale tuck your hips under roll your hips up squeezing your glutes inhale at the top then exhale roll your hips back down vertebra by vertebra Inhale at the bottom to prepare, then exhale, roll them up. Inhale, squeeze at the top, and exhale, roll your hips back down. Let's do three more like this. Really moving vertebra by vertebra with lots of control. Two more. Really press your heels to lift your hips up, squeezing your glutes at the top. And on this last one, let's hold our hips at the top, really tuck your hips under. Shift your weight into your right foot and lift your leg to a tabletop position. First option, tap your left toes down to the floor and then lift your leg up. Inhale as you tap, exhale as you lift. Second option, extend your leg straight. Inhale, flex your foot, lower your leg. Exhale, point and kick it up. So inhale, lower exhale lift let's do four more wherever you are make sure that your hips are lifted and you're really squeezing your glutes two more and on this last one hold your leg lifted let's take eight pulses up and up just six more five four three two and one slowly lower your hips down to the floor and cross your left knee over your right then lift your legs to a tabletop position and take your hands behind your head exhale curl your head and shoulders up then inhale lower exhale curl inhale lower two more like this and then we're going to add on the legs last one good job so this time, exhale, curl up, then inhale, lower your toes and your head down, and exhale, curl everything back up. So inhale, everything lowers, exhale, everything lifts. Six more. Make sure that when you tap your toes down to the floor, that you're not arching your spine. So keep pressing your lower back down towards the floor. Last one good job let's twist over to our left now bringing our right elbow to our left knee exhale extend your right leg straight then inhale return through center so exhale twist extend your leg and inhale return through center six more make sure you're keeping your left knee stacked over your left hip and you're using your abdominals to bring your right elbow towards your left knee let's do two more and last one now hold your legs crossed twist over to the left again and this time as you exhale lift your hips off the floor inhale lower exhale lift inhale lower six more really getting into our lower abdominals here your hips don't have to lift high just really focus on activating through your lower abs 
and last one well done rest your head down hug your knees in and then bring your heels in towards your glutes again with your feet hip distance apart roll your hips up into your glute bridge then this time inhale lower straight down and exhale press your hips straight up so inhale lower exhale lift six more really squeeze your glutes at the top four more three pressing down through your heels and last one hold your hips high this time shift your weight into your left foot and lift your right leg to that tabletop position first option tap your right toes down and lift so inhale tap exhale lift or extend your legs straight inhale flex and lower your leg exhale point and kick up good job just four more wherever you are really press down through your left heel lifting your hips and squeezing your glutes and last one hold your leg lifted and let's pulse our hips for eight seven six five four you can do it three two and one carefully roll your hips down to the floor and cross your right leg over your left return your hands behind your head lift your legs to a tabletop position and then curl your head and shoulders up let's lower everything down on our inhale then lift everything up on our exhale so straight into the more challenging option six more inhale lower exhale lift keeping your chin slightly dropped down towards your chest to protect your neck just two more and last one let's hold our curl twist over to your right now exhale extend your left leg then inhale return through center exhale extend inhale center six more so keeping your head and shoulders lifted as you turn your chest back through center really working those abdominals only two more you can do it and last one now hold your legs in that crossed position twist over to the right exhale lift your hips inhale lower exhale lift inhale lower six more five really stay twisted through your upper body working your obliques and your lower abs two more and last one so good rest your head hug your knees in and just circle your knees for a moment then hold on to the back of your thighs lift your head and roll yourself up to seated extend your legs straight squeeze your thighs together inhale reach your arms up then exhale take your hands underneath your shoulders and lift your hips up really squeeze your glutes open through your chest and through your shoulders and then lower your hips back down let's come into a high kneeling position now so come onto your knees and extend your right leg out long place your hands behind your head with your elbows wide on your inhale lean up and over to the left then twist your chest up to the sky and exhale crunch back up return your chest through center and again inhale lean up and over turn your chest to the sky and exhale lift up just three more really focusing on drawing your right rib down towards your hip as you lift yourself back up using those obliques let's do one more well done take your left hand down to the floor now into your side kneeling position on your exhale kick your right leg up inhale lower exhale kick inhale lower three more like this and then we're going to add on 
last one okay from here kick your leg set your foot down then pull your left knee to your right elbow then lower your knee so exhale kick inhale lower exhale pull your knee to your elbow inhale lower three more you can do it and two really stay lifted through the underside of your waist last one good job hold your leg extended reach your arm up to the sky and take 10 pulses up and up just eight more seven six five four three two and a one hold your leg lifted pivot your chest to the floor coming into your pilates push-up position on your inhale bend your elbows exhale press inhale bend exhale press six more really bending your elbows in by your waistline so that you work your triceps three more you can do it keep drawing your navel in two and last one hold your arms straight flex your left foot and give me 10 pulses up and up eight more seven six five squeezing your glute three two and one lower your knee press back into a child's pose just for one nice deep breath and then let's roll our spine up and come to the other side. So find your high kneeling position, extend your left leg out to the side and place your hands behind your head. On your inhale, lean up and over to the right, turn your chest to the sky and exhale, crunch up. So inhale, lean, turn your chest to the sky and exhale, crunch up. Just three more. Thinking of drawing that left rib down to your left hip as you come up, really using your obliques. One more, can you lean over a little bit further? Well done. Take your right hand to the floor now, then exhale, lift your left leg, inhale, lower. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Three more, then we add that knee pull last one here we go you kick set the foot down pull your right knee to your left elbow and then lower exhale kick inhale lower exhale pull inhale lower three more you're doing so well only one more to go And now hold your left leg lifted, reach your top arm up to the sky and take 10 pulses up and up. Eight more, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold your leg lifted and let's pivot into our Pilates push-up position. Really draw your navel in, inhale, bend your elbows, exhale, press. Inhale, bend, exhale, press six more make sure you're still lifting up through your navel and squeezing your right glute three more two and last one now hold your arms straight flex your foot and take ten pulses up and up just eight more seven six five four three two and one let's step back straight away into a plank walk your hands back towards your feet and roll up to standing step your feet out mat distance apart with your toes turned out and let's inhale squat down exhale press up inhale squat exhale press six more really press your knees out shift your weight back into your heels and squeeze your glutes to come up Two more and on this last one hold a low in your squat give me eight pulses down and down you can do it six more five four three two 
and one final exercise take your hands down to the mat walk out into your plank step your feet in hip distance apart and lower down onto your forearms interlace your fingers really draw your navel in exhale pull your right knee into your chest inhale step it back exhale pull your left knee inhale step it back six more and five you can do it four more then we're going to hold in our plank to finish three two last one let's hold in our plank really press down through your shoulders lift up through your navel five more seconds you can do it you are so strong four three two and a one really good job set your knees down carefully lower your hips to the floor open your hands and roll your shoulders back coming into your sphinx pose take long breaths here really feeling this beautiful stretch for your abs then carefully lower your chest down to the floor interlace your hands behind your back and on your inhale, roll your shoulders back, straighten your arms and lift your chest off the floor. See if you can lift your arms up and away from your body, feeling a nice stretch for your shoulders. Take one more deep breath in, then exhale, release your body down. Press yourself up and shift back into a well-deserved child's pose. Then roll your spine up to seated and let's come on to our glutes. Bend your right knee in, extend your left leg long, then inhale, reach your right arm up and exhale, side bend over to the left. Turning your chest up to the sky, feeling a beautiful stretch. Then come back up and switch legs. Bend your left knee, extend your right leg out to the side inhale reach your left arm up and exhale side bend to the right then carefully come back up and just find a comfortable cross-legged position let's take a moment to roll out our wrists so just take a few circles in one direction and then reverse it to give your wrists a nice little massage then when you're ready let's finish class together with one last big inhale reaching your arms up to the sky and exhale lowering your hands down to prayer thank you so much everyone i hope you enjoyed today's quick express pilates workout if you want to see more videos like this don't forget to like this video leave me a comment share this video with a friend or family member and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much and I hope you have the most amazing day.